Hello, I'm Chess Espert Gil Luna. This lesson is about split pawns and how they can defend each other. All right, at first glance, this position looks like these pawns can very easily be lost. First of all, this king is all the way over here in the corner and the pawns are split. Connected pawns do a very good job of defending each other, but split pawns can as well in various particular circumstances. This one. Okay, so let's look at this. It's white to move. Let's say white plays king f4 to attack this pawn. All right, this pawn cannot be protected. But what can you do? As black, you can simply play h4. Now this is really interesting. All right, this king cannot go here to stop this pawn because of this one. This king cannot go here. Let's get rid of this. This king cannot go here because of this pawn. So the king cannot go here, cannot go here. So you're probably saying to yourself, why can't I just take this pawn? Well, this is an important end game principle. If you take the back pawn with the king, you can never catch the pawn in front. You're always gonna be a move behind and the pawn will promote. So the back pawn can't be captured. So what do you do? You move here. Now you're gonna to try to go here to stop this pawn. Here, black has opportunity to bring the king closer. So black plays king b7 and white plays here to stop this pawn. Now, if you capture the front pawn, then you can take the back one. So what does black do in this position? F4. Now we've reached the same position again, except we got a little bit closer. So let's say white decides to go this way this time to capture this back pawn. Once again, by playing F3, White cannot capture the H pawn because he'll never catch the F pawn. So in order to, to make a move, White must play king here. All right, now, this gives Black the opportunity to bring the king one step closer. So if the king decides to play here now to come stop this pawn, we move this pawn forward once again, and there's no way to stop these pawns together, and the king has plenty of time to get to this position. So if we play king here, simply push the pawn up, and that's it. Black will promote. The white king cannot get here or here, and there's no way to stop this pawn. And same thing over here. If we play king h2, black simply plays f2. If you play here, you're also behind this pawn. And if you play, if you take, then you're also behind this pawn. So this is a pretty cool trick, how two split pawns can defend each other, simply by being patient. You have to be patient. So after this move, for example, if you played here and white played here and you were impatient and you tried to do this, well, this changes everything because now White can simply play king g3 and the game is a draw, okay? So you can try this little trick and push this pawn up and hopefully he takes you, but that, we don't really play hope chess. Basically what you would have to do here is try to bring your king closer and thank you for the pawn. And this is a typical opposition type of draw because the king is behind the pawn, all right? This is something that we learned in a previous video. The king is behind the pawn. So you gotta be patient as black in this position. As Soon as these pawns are safe, if the king commits, you, bring your, you push the pawn up, cannot take. You take the opportunity to bring your king closer. And now if white doesn't play here and white decides just to play up again, that's fine. Cause what you do is bring your king closer. You have the opportunity to bring your king closer. The back pawn still cannot be captured. So all it's doing is giving you tempo uh, to get your king closer to the position. So from here, split pawns are very good at defending each other as long as you are patient and guide them in 
and make sure they're backing each other up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something.